Fox Sports. We are Baltimore. We are LA. Little League Sunday here at the Big A. A lot of kids in attendance. Hopefully the Angels pick up a win this afternoon. It's the rubber game of the series between your Halos and the visiting New York Metropolitans. Hi, everybody. We welcome you back to Angels Baseball here from inside the Big A. We are on Fox Sports West. So glad you have us. Mark Gubas, Victor Rojas, and, of course, the Angels dropping a heartbreaker last night. 13 innings. Now this series tied up in a game apiece, but there were some heroics in the ninth inning. Uh, Raul Abanez, a fantastic job of hitting once again. Uh, clutch with that three-run home run. Yeah, Victor, he has been clutch the last three years. We talked about that, you know, as preparation for the game. Seven times he either tied or put the team ahead after the seventh inning in the last three seasons. He's been that good. You have Freeze getting the base hit, eyeball with a wall, the perfect guy to come up in that scenario. Got a fastball and drove it out. His 2,000th career hit. What a professional swinger he is. He goes in, gets the ball in the zone. He does not try to expand. He wants to look in a certain spot, and that's why he's so successful, not only last night, but throughout his career, one of 15 active players with at least 2,000 hits. He also has 302 career home runs. What I love about him is he's going to be playing first base today. He does whatever it takes to help the team win. He'll go up there and work the count, but he'll always be looking for a fastball, and he'll certainly get a lot of those fastballs with Bartolo Colon today on the hill. Lots of fastballs in. Lots of fastballs away. Yeah, the Angels bullpen unable to hold things down. As a matter of fact, the Angels making a couple of moves, and we'll talk about those during the ball game today. It's Bartolo Colon going for the Mets. C.J. Wilson on the hill for the Angels looking for his first home win of the season. We're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A, so sit back and relax. We'll have lineups and first pitch when we return. Angels baseball is brought to you by CarMax. Start the search for your next car at CarMax. CarMax, start here. And by Mercury Insurance. 
Save big on your auto insurance. Get a fast, free quote at mercuryinsurance.com today and see how much you can save. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better day for baseball here. The sun is out. Some clouds up above and fans still streaming into this ballpark on Little, Little League uh, Sunday. And the Angels not wasting any time either. That's uh, kind of unusual with C.J. Wilson on the hill. He's usually one of those guys that takes his time getting out there. So that means we will run through the lineup for the New York Mets as presented by their manager, Terry Collins. The Mets with the win last night. Now five and six on the season. Eric Young will lead things off. He's in left field. Daniel Murphy in second. David White in third. Josh Satton over at first base. Curtis Granderson in right. Andrew Brown, the DH today. Juan Lagares in center. Travis Darno behind the plate. Ruben Tejada is at shortstop batting nine. Taking on C.J. Wilson, as I mentioned, going to break. Looking for his first win at home. His first start here. Didn't go so well against the Seattle Mariners. Boy, but his last start out in Houston was fantastic. Eight innings pitches, one earned run allowed, seven punch outs, and the big thing, only one walk for C.J. Wilson. And the keys for me for C.J. to be successful today, continue that good pace. We saw it already, getting out there early, getting ready to attack the Mets hitters, and use his breaking stuff. He had a very, very good breaking ball last time out against Houston, threw it early in the count, and finished off hitters with his curveball and slider. Now, the one thing that we did see from C.J. in that last yard against Houston, Temple was a little bit better for him, uh, and that perhaps uh, manifested itself into a very good start. He had great stuff that day, and uh, he looked like a guy that was very confident going out there and throwing all of his pitches for And strikes. the defense played well behind him because they were on their toes. It wasn't a slow-down pace on the mound. So we're ready for the first one this afternoon, and here it is. It's a fastball for a strike. That is Toby Basner calling the balls and strikes today. Fielding Colbert at first, Manny Gonzalez at second, and Sean Barber over at third base. He was behind the plate last night. Long night for him. As your umpire and crew for the finale of this three-game set. As Eric Young Jr. looks at a strike. And it is 0-2. Young last night 0 for 4. Had a walk, was also hit by a pitch. Ball grazed his uniform jersey. Hitting 200, has a double, a triple, two runs batted in. Ball and two strikes will give you the Angels defensively. Here in just a second. On with the breaking ball. And he wins a count at two and two. Mentioned the Angels making a couple of moves. Matt Shoemaker, Dane De La Rosa being optioned down to Triple A Salt Lake City. The Angels bringing up Jose Alvarez, whom the Angels acquired from the Tigers in the Andrew Romine trade. And Yoslin Herrera signed a minor league deal prior to this season. He's now in the bullpen. CJ has gone from 0-2 to 3-2. and well, The one thing Alvarez gave you is length out of the bullpen. He's been a starter throughout his career, but also could be used as a situational guy against lefties. Alvarez a lefty, Herrera the right-hander. 3-2 on the way, and he walked him. So gets ahead at 0-2 and, and promptly puts the speedy Young on base. Check out the Halos defensively. Jamie Shuck is in left field. Mike Trout in center. Cole Calhoun in right. Ian Stewart, Eric Ibar, Howie Kendrick, Raul Labanez. That's your infield from third to first. Hank Conger behind the plate. And Raul Labanez is getting the start. Watched him earlier today. Getting a lot of work with Alfredo Griffin as far as the footwork. And, of course, feeling some slow rollers to that first base side. His first start at first base since 2005 with the Mariners. Got to pay attention to Young over at first. Mets will run. Here's Murphy. Looks at a strike. He had a rough night last night. 0 for 7. A 13 inning affair. And three strikeouts in there. Second baseman hitting 275. Two doubles. Three runs batted in. Product of Jacksonville University. Florida native. Breaking ball off the end of the bat. CJ redirects it with the bare hand. And unfortunately. That's a double play ball. Yep. He does it. Yep. What do we say about not using that bare hand? Especially as a pitcher, you look back where your middle infielders are situated. So you know what baseball to let go. It's your normal reaction to go after it. If that ball's hit slow enough, and Howie's going to be able to almost feel that and step on the base and turn two. Instead, yep. now you have Young with good speed in the scoring position. 1-4-3 goes to put out. David Ryan will get an opportunity here, but the Mets up early. And you also hope that ball didn't do what, put a little sting on the fingers, too. They won't have a good feel for it the first couple of pitches. They have to get hit with the ball back up the middle. Yeah, 
Called one. David, one for six last night. Mets captain hitting 222. A home run and four runs batted in. Slowed the first week. The flu that was uh, zapping him a little bit, but played. Consistent presence in that Mets lineup and at third base. Missed inside. One ball, one strike. Might be a time where CJ will try to pick off Young at second. First spin move. Let's give him a courtesy look back if you're Young. How he's going to have to give him that glove sign and then quickly throw right to the base. Back toward the middle. And that's a base hit. And the Mets will take a 1-0 lead. So Wilson had Eric Young at 0-2, ends up walking him, and then makes the mistake of throwing that bare hand out there on that slow ball hit by Murphy, and it costs the Angels a run. Especially you don't want to put David right up in too many of those RBI situations. At some point, he'll make you pay. He's been a great run producer throughout his career, and he came through with that at bat, driving in a run. Fifth RBI of the season for Wright, and the Angels will play from behind. Second time they've done that in this series. Mets scored a first inning run Friday night. So up steps Josh Shatton, the first baseman. He got the start at first base Friday night. Ended up going one for four with a two RBI double. Wilson wearing the uh, the long sleeves today. It's a perfect day for baseball. Well, he had him the, on in Houston. In Houston. Right? Yes, he did. Well, a guy I played with back in Kansas City, a guy you remember real well, Dennis Leonard. He won 20 games, I think, three different seasons. He always wore sleeves, even in those hottest days in Kansas City on that turf. Well, that way the sweat would be absorbed in the sleeves and wouldn't have to worry about it on his hand. This one fouled back just to our right. Two balls and one strike. Now, you weren't a guy that uh, wore sleeves. Huh? Never, no. never. I didn't, you know, I, I wasn't comfortable with it. I always felt that I had to move the sleeves up, even in the coldest weather, especially at Exhibition Stadium in Toronto before they moved to Sky Dome, now Rogers Center. It was freezing in that place, but I still felt comfortable because I was always moving and active as a pitcher when you're throwing the baseball. Always wanted to show off the gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gun show. Two, two. That's right. Yeah, that and the bullet. Always just try. As long as you didn't name the guns. No, you know, Smith no. and Wesson or no, something like that. No. CIA. No name required. <laughs> Under the radar. <laughs> two, two balls, two strikes on set. One for eight to start the year, and that was that double he picked up Friday night. Two, two now. Another full count. Oh, well, we saw a lot of these last night. One thing we've seen from the Mets hitters, pretty good patience, especially on breaking balls. Now, they will seem to chase on change-ups, but breaking balls they were pretty patient with. This is the Mets team that collectively is hitting 207. That's last in the National League. Lasted slugging, 14th and on-base percentage. But they had 10 hits Friday night, 11 hits last night. 3-2. Runner goes. And that is a call strike three. The throw down to second. It is in time. They strike him out. Throw him out. Double play. And that will end the Mets half of the first. But they do strike for a run. As we head to the bottom of the first, Chuck Trout and Pujols coming up with the Halos down.
Bush is starting nine for the Angels, who after the loss last night find themselves in a game under 500 at five and six. JB Shuck will lay things off and left. Mike Trout at center. Albert Pujols will serve as the DH today. Raul Abinas gets to start at first. Cole Calhoun at right. Howie Kendrick at second. Ian Stewart gets to start at third. So no David Freeze today. Hank Conger behind the plate. Eric Ibar batting ninth and playing shortstop. Taking on the uh, former Cy Young Award winners, member of the Angels. It is Bartolo Colon. Bartolo Colon, fastball 88 93. Slider, occasional changeup. But just look for fastball. And the keys against Bartolo Colon is always have to bid. Fastball is your friend. Look for the fastball, especially early on. Be aggressive. Jump on that first pitch fastball against him. There's a first pitch fastball for a strike. Hey, what's the scouting report on Cologne? Jump on the first pitch fastball because that's the four seam fastball. Then he starts manipulating the plate with his two seam fastball with great movement. JB fouls it back. Got into the game last night as a pinch hitter. Ended up going one for three. Home run at two runs batted in. Bartolo now 40 years of age. He'll turn 41 in May. Ground ball to short. Ruben Tejada is there. A good hustle by Shuck. It's the first out. In the bottom of the first, let's check out the Mets defensively. Young, Ligaris, Granderson in the outfield from left to right. It's right to Hada Murphy and sat from third to first. Darno behind the plate. And with Bartolo Colon on the mound, when he's very effective, he keeps the ball down. You're going to get a lot of ground ball action. Daniel Murphy to start at second base. He's going to get quite a few ground balls his way. Very good as far as turning a double play also. Bartolo signing a um, offseason deal. With the New York Mets after spending the last two seasons with the Oakland Athletics, 18 game winner last year. As Trout looks at a uh, first pitch fastball for ball one. 30 starts last year for Cologne, 2.65 ERA. Trout two for six last night. Made the last out of the game, lining one sharply to Ike Davis at first. Well, if that gets over his head, that's around the corner. Yep. And if Granderson doesn't cut that off, that's at least a triple. Depending how far it gets away from him. Two balls, one strike. Mike hitting 283 after going two for six. Three home runs, six RBIs. All three of his home runs in the first inning. Has a couple of doubles and one triple. And great numbers against Cologne. 500 career batter. Seven for 14 with two home runs. Now Lagar is playing very deep in right center field. He's the center fielder. Now moving in a couple of steps. Ball will carry a little bit better in the afternoon here. Full count. This is the time where Cologne will throw that two-seam fastball against a right-handed batter. It looks like it's a ball off the plate and try to catch the corner. And this one drilled. That's a straightaway center field. Doesn't matter where Lagoris is at. Go! Big fly for Mike Trout. Fourth home run of the season, all four in the first inning. This one ties things up. What we say about success against Cologne for Trout. Make that now eight for 15 with three big flies and four RBI. Got that fastball that started away, but middle part of the plate when it finished moving. And jumping on the fastball, so key to balance it through the baseball hands inside. Barrel up on the baseball out of the yard in center field. Albert looks at a strike. Trout now with seven runs batted in. As Albert hits one out to left. Young is back. Back to back Jacks. 2-1. Halos. Boy, Albert, again, thinking, looking, getting, fastball, drives it out, third home run, seventh RBI, giving it now 495 career home runs. Well, that fastball, just a hittable zone, and Pools did not miss it at all. Let's get out in a hurry. And just takes up and away. And it's one ball, no strike. Second time this year, the Angels have gone back to back. Pujols and Freeze did it in Seattle. Trout and Pujols here in the first. 
took something off the fastball there, and Raul swinging through it. Raul getting to start today at first base. And a one for five game last night. It was a big one. His second home run, a three run shot that tied things up at six in the ninth inning. Two balls, one strike. Raul, over the last three seasons, has hit seven home runs in the seventh inning or later that have tied a game. It leads the majors, and he hits one out to right field. Towering shot. Granderson is back. How about this? 3-1 Angels. Boy, we talked about him in the opening. We'll talk about him again tomorrow with that swing. Raul Lavagnez hit number 2001. Last two hits he's had left the building. Now three home runs and 11 RBIs. Back to back to back on the fastball. Cole Calhoun out to right center field. Lagar is chasing this one, a one hopper off the fence. Cole on his way to second. It is a double. And the Angels teeing off on Bart. Got to keep in mind, Bartolo going 12 and 6 in his career against the Angels. And a good ERA, just over three. And Hyundai keyed the game, jump. Talked about jumping on that fastball when you get that opportunity. Well, the Angels have certainly done that here in the first. Little Van Halen. Ball is jumping out of the yard already. Dan Wharton, the pitching coach, out to pay a visit. J.B. Shuck grounded out, then Trout to center. Pujols to left, and Banez to right, and Calhoun with a double. Off the base of the wall in right center field for Cole, his second double of the year. So he's in scoring position with Howie Kendrick at the plate. First time the Angels have gone three consecutive home runs since July of 2009. It's Rivera, Morales, and Napoli. That was against the Cleveland Indians. Howie takes a strike on the outside corner. Kendrick last night 0 for 5. 244 average. No home runs. Five runs batted in. It's three doubles on the year. Howie was in the cleanup spot last night. In the six hole today. 3-1 Angels here in the first. Lays off. A ball and a strike. Got to chase that high fastball. One and two now. You got to continue putting pressure on Cologne. Don't let him settle down. So when you're on the mound and you've given up three consecutive home runs and a ball off the wall, you're more apt to make a few more mistakes before you can settle in. You have to take advantage of that if you're a hitter right now. It's Bartolo's 24th career start against the Angels. Now the one-two. That's off the plate. That looked like that two-seamer he was trying to get. You were talking about earlier, but. Trying to get outside it, corner, especially when he wanted to try to do it against Trout, but that started on the corner, but then ran in the middle of the plate. And if you're a hitter, that's all you're looking for is a fastball. But early in the count, he's more apt to throw his four seam fastball, which is a straight fastball, as compared to that one we saw right there, that moving one. Little breaking ball. Count remains at two balls, two strikes. Bartolo made two starts for Oakland against the Angels last year, won both of them. Had a complete game in one of them. 15 innings, 11 hits, 7 strikeouts, 3 walks in those 2 starts. Now we just one for 19. Nice job of fouling off a pretty tough pitch and break a ball. Darno set up inside. And that's a called strike 3. 2 outs. 
Hey, today's broadcast is on AFN, the American Forces Network, broadcasting to the U.S. Armed Forces, serving in 175 countries and aboard ships at sea. They're watching around the world, in Germany, Italy, Southwest Asia, South Korea, Japan, and Iraq. We welcome you, and we also thank you yes, for your thank dedication you. and your commitment to our country. Thank you so much. So two outs, and here's Ian Stewart. Ian getting to start today over at third base. David Freeze with the afternoon off. And that is hit well out to right field. Granderson giving chase. Not going to get there. Calhoun will come in. Ian on his way to second on RBI. Double makes it 4-1 to Halos. That's five extra base hits here in the first inning. Stewart getting his first RBI. First double. Had a triple on the road trip. It was up. Good swing by Stewart. Jumping on that fastball. That's got to be the theme throughout while Bart Bartolo Colon is in the game. Get a fastball and jump on it. Here's Hank Conger. Three for nine on the season. One RBI. It was a painful one. The hit by pitch two nights ago with the bases loaded. Yeah, he said he had a pretty good mark on his ribs. But he wore it well. Yes, he did. Five hits here in the first inning. Conger looks at that two-seamer for a strike. That was the front door. No balls. Two strikes now. 25 pitches thrown by Bartolo here in the first. A lot of pitches, pitchers were used last night in that game, so both managers would like to get some length out of their starters, but Bartolo Colon already in some trouble here in the first. And Conger strikes out swinging, and that will end the Angels' first inning, and what an inning it was. Four runs, three consecutive home runs by Trout, Pujols, and Ibanez, and an RBI double by Ian Stewart. We played one here at the Big A, and the Angels lead to 4-1. to one. Stroud with his fourth of the year. Pujols his third. Ibanez with his third. Ian Stewart chipping in an RBI double, and that's where we stand right now. C.J. Wilson will face Granderson, Brown, and Lagaris in a second for the Mets. Curtis Granderson getting 146 on the young season. Went 0 for 4 in last night's game. Had a couple of walks. He has one home run on the year. Three runs batted in. So foul back off the mask. One on one. Granderson is three for 16 in his career versus CJ.
Good off-speed pitch. One and two now. That's a pitch that's so effective for C.J. against Granderson. It certainly was very effective in his start down in Houston. Two balls, two strikes. Now it's just a matter of finishing off hitters. Instead of running the pitch count up. That's why that good slow breaking ball sometimes a bit more so than the hard slider from C.J. would have been able to finish him off. Two two now. Granderson rips one out to right center, a lead off single. Hey fans, groups of twenty or more can enjoy Angels baseball for as low as eight dollars per seat this year. You can take advantage of the exclusive group hat collection for select series. To book your outing, just call eight 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 seven nine six Halo or log on at angels.com slash groups. Second straight inning in which the leadoff man has reached against Wilson. That'll bring up Andrew Brown, the DH. Brown with one for five Friday night. 167 average, has a home run. And three runs batted in. Wilson with extensive experience in interleague play, seven and five record. 3.86 ERA, 46 games, 16 starts. This being a 17th start. Good pitch in on the hands, 0-2. Well ahead now, you can throw a breaking ball down and in off the plate in the dirt. Six something away. CJ very good as far as getting double plays. Only King Felix since 2010 has more double plays behind him. Ground ball toward short. High bar feeds Kendrick for one. And a relay in time for the double play. Two down. Once again, CJ getting a double play out in front. Rolls it over. Perfect feed from High bar to Kendrick. Turn a 6 4 3 double play. Base is clear now with two outs, and here's Lagaris. I'll tell you what, the bottom third of the order for the Mets got the job done last night. Lagaris, Wrecker, and Quintanilla. Latter two not in the lineup today. But that bottom third of the order last night for the Mets, 7 for 17 with six runs batted in. Lagaris went 2 for 6 with an RBI, his seventh of the year. CJ falls behind here, two balls, no strikes. Wilson trying to get that shutdown inning in the books. Ground ball up the middle, a two out base hit. Puts a man off for Travis Darno. Hey, what I like, Lagarde, he's a pretty good player. Great arm out in center field. Some good swings at the plate. Some big hits last night. A good speed also. Still a young hitter, still uh, he's going to be exposed at times on the breaking ball. We saw it last night late when he struck out with the bases loaded. But uh, you're right. Kind of a fun player to watch. As the Mets continue to build, they certainly have a lot of real good arms in their system. Matt Harvey being one, it's going to, he's recovered from Tommy John surgery. Once he's back, part of that rotation, he was dominant for the majority of the season last year. Darno looks at a breaking ball for a strike. Long Beach product. At the start Friday night, Holmberg in his first at bat in the third inning. Went one for four. At a Lakewood High School, Long Beach. The big presence of SoCal players on this Mets team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> CJ was coming, set, and Darno backed out. Former first round pick. Darno, that is. 2007 by the Philadelphia Phillies.
Two and one. There's the uh, SoCal connection for the Mets. Darno, Duda, Scott Rice, Simi Valley, Josh Satin. Harvard Westlake guy, Josh Satin. Two one now. There's a breaking ball for a strike. Mentioned this on Friday, but Darno, a, a hot commodity. As far as uh, the trademark is concerned, Phillies traded him to Toronto, the Roy Halladay deal. And then the Mets acquired him in the R.A. Dickey trade. A couple Cy Young award winners. So what do they say? They said, got that going for you. Yes. Now you want to prove yourself at the major league level. Another 3-2 count for C.J. This one with two outs here to man in first. So on the move will be Lagares from first base. CJ threw 17 pitches in the first. And here's the payoff. Foul back. Well, that breaking ball right in the middle of the plate. Foul straight back. He's got that swing where he looks like he'd be susceptible to a high fastball. He's got that uh, almost a left handed swing. You know how left handers like that ball down and in? And or a change up away. Mm -hmm. and, and CJ threw quite a few of those the other day in Houston. Another foul ball back. Eighteen pitches thrown by CJ so far here. The second a single by Granderson, a double play ball, and a single by Lagaris. I'll throw on to first. Mets getting a run in the first inning. RBI single by David Wright and the Angels. With five hits, five extra base hits in the first inning, including three consecutive home runs. To hang a four spot on the board against Bartolo. 3 2 again. And he walked him. Second walk issued by Wilson. Well, just looking at that follow through from CJ, he didn't finish off his pitch. He was standing almost straight up when he delivered the baseball, and that's why that pitch was elevated. Didn't bend his back and reach out to be able to finish that off in the outside part of the plate. It's Ruben Tejada, ninth place hitter and shortstop, 212 average for him. A double and a couple of runs batted in. And a one for four game Friday night. Quintanilla got the start at shortstop last night. Q shot up the first base line. That is a fair ball, and Wilson applies the tag. There's the out. The top of the second is in the books. We will head to the bottom of the second with the Angels leading it 4-1. to one.
the Carl's Jr. Sports Update. Lots of former Angel hurlers on the hill, including one up at Seattle. So Oakland tries to win that rubber game of that series. A's who are coming into town tomorrow, taking on Seattle. Bartolo Colon back to work here in the second. 9-1-2 and two for the Angels. Ibar, Shock, and Trout. Eric flips the first one foul on the third base side, giving chases to Hata. They're going to run out of room. Oh, one count on Eric. 0 for 3 last night. Had a couple of walks. In 194, has a triple and four runs batted in. Speaking of the Oakland A's taking on Seattle, Oakland will be in town tomorrow. Three game set, first meeting between the two teams. And that's hit out toward right center field. Lagares was playing shallow, giving chase on the track. Will make the catch just shy of the wall. The first out gave it a ride. Bartolo Glow, when he's effective, he's getting a lot of ground balls. Well, he's certainly not getting those today in this game. And with the day game here at the Big A, the baseball just flies. Bad recipe. A lot of fastballs, elevated fastballs, and fly balls that are getting out of the yard. J.B. Shaco for one. And he'll look at a breaking ball for a strike. J.B. grounded out to Tejada, the shortstop. That one caught the inside corner. And today it seems like we have more of a Manny Gonzalez type of strike zone. Than we had on Friday night. You throw a pitch in the strike zone if it's borderline, it's a strike. Fouled it off, trying to go outside with a fastball. Thirty-one pitches thrown so far for Cologne. Twenty-four in the strike zone. Now he's got to throw strikes, capitalizing. Is another story. Although the Angels did it in the first. Was it a start here? What was it a couple years ago? Or was it last year when he threw 30 plus straight strikes? Like 34, 35 fastballs. Yeah, all fastballs. All fastballs. Space 10 batters in the game so far. Eight first pitch strikes. But some of his strikes have been mistakes so far. A lot of the play, generally, that's why I say early. Look for a four-seam fastball. It's two-seam fastball. It's very difficult to make good contact with. Shallow right field. Granderson took a step back, and now he's there. Two outs. Now it's time for AT&T U-verse Rewind. You talk about some big flies in the first. Starts with Mike Trout. Center field. Albert Pujols. Left field 495 for Albert Pujols. And Raul Abanez. Part of the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs. Two outs, nobody on for Trout. And he takes a strike on the inside corner. Trout, first player in Major League history with four first inning home runs in his team's first 12 games. Done a lot of things first time in Major League history, hasn't he already in his career? He has. Oh, with two. Trout had 12 first inning home runs last year. I tied it for tops at Major League Baseball. 0 2. Off the plate. One ball, two strikes. Four times in this game, Cologne has been ahead of the count 0 2. That fastball off the plate. Coming back inside. Fouled off into the seats. 
Good catch by a fan. Relaxed in his seat, made the play. Yeah, a lot of leaguers, uh, little leaguers here. So maybe uh, Dad borrowed the glove real quick. Or did he go barehanded? He went barehanded. He, he went moved. old school? Yeah. He camped underneath it. Ball of two strikes with two outs. Ground ball right back to him. Got him on the off speed. And that will end the inning. The Angels go down in order. We've played two, and it's four to one Angels. have a show in an upcoming game broadcast and it's brought to you by AT&T. 4-1 Angels. Top of the third. Top of the order. Young Murphy and right. Oh, the fish sticks. Thunder sticks. They were working in the first. Oh, they're exhausted now. <laughs> now they had time to relax, get it going in the third. Eric Young, Jr., the switch-hitting left fielder. Drew a walk and scored a run in the first inning. CJ with one strikeout and two walks. Three hits allowed. Ground ball to second. One away. CJ could use a quick inning. 17 pitches in the first, 20 in the second. It's a good start getting an out with his two pitches thrown. And this guy right here, Daniel Murphy, though, showed some patience last night. First game, he was up hacking early. I think he might change that, though, after going 0 for 7. He didn't like that approach. Although he takes a strike. He had the uh, the tower buzz last night on a yes. fastball from Matt Shoemaker. Ended up losing his helmet and his bat. Resulted in a strikeout. Sometimes the best pitch you're going to get during that sequence could be a fastball first pitch. Yeah, it's always good to be patient and work the counts, but you might miss your best pitch you can hit. One and two. Murphy grounded out his first time up. That little roller that passed the mound. CJ deflected it with his hand. Howie got the ball and fired it first. CJ tried to drop down. We saw that in Houston. Uh, last time down in Houston after that pitch, he had a tough time throwing a strike the very next pitch because he changed his arm angle. See if he can 
get it back here right away. Full count. Third full count. The first two have resulted in walks. A called strike three. Basner rings him up, and Murphy doesn't like the call. Two outs. I think CJ got a little help there. That ball looked like it might have been. Had a baseball off the corner. And it was. Hank did a nice job of framing and bringing it back enough for Basner to be able to call it a strike. So two outs. Nobody on for David Wright. Be curious to know what the percentage of strikes are for a guy after he drops down. A little Laredo style. Especially in a situation where you're already lefty on lefty. You kind of have an advantage, you would think. That, uh, Especially you don't throw it too often yeah. either. Now, if it's part of your, your repertoire, then maybe you're okay. Sometimes you can be too smart for your own good. And David Wright doesn't like that call. He has some words. And eventually somebody's going to get tossed here because you can't argue balls and strikes. Yeah, we haven't seen many ejections, if at all, this season. But yeah. it will be for a ball and strike call. Now, if you're CJ, hey, you have to throw a fastball just off the outside corner. And Wright's still John. And Terry Collins may have to try to protect him. I like the thought process from CJ. Why not? He might force Wright to expand his strike zone and swing at that pitch. Murphy still chapped. One, two. This one's out to left. JB in, over to his left, makes the catch. A one, two, three inning for CJ Wilson. We'll head to the bottom of the third. Angel still on top. Up four to one. This is what he did back in the first inning. Oh, that's a nice swing at that one for Pujols. Uses his lower half of his body to generate power. Third of the year, seventh RBI. Swings the first one and hits a chopper to David Wright. One out. That's five in a row retired by Bartolo. Giving up the double to Ian Stewart. Something you said in the first inning. Don't uh, don't let him off the hook. Keep piling on. Once he starts seeing some easier outs as the game progresses, he starts expanding the strikes and he'll throw his fastball, but it'll be off the plate, and you're more apt to chase it.
Burrow with his third home run of the first inning. 11th RBI. There's that two seamer. No one count. Two strike counts for Cologne. No walks. The five hits allowed. All five extra base hits. Last time the Angels had to five or more extra base hits in the first inning. July 18th, 1994 at home against the Red Sox. You, my friend, were still pitching. <laughs> That's when you, you're warming up in the bullpen. You think you have good stuff, and all of a sudden the hitters tell you, no, nah, not really. So often as a pitcher, you warm up before the game, you feel so good, everything's working, and all of a sudden you go out to the mound and you look up and you've given up some runs, and you wonder why that's the case. But sometimes when you don't have your real good stuff, your focus is so much better coming out of the bullpen than it would be when you have great stuff warming up. That's headed toward the seats on a third base shot. Now remains at one and two. A lot of it's at the old psychological part about it the fact that uh, you've lowered your expectations you, you you go out in the bullpen you come out and you say I don't, I don't have anything I'll see what I can do so you've lowered your own expectations all of a sudden you get out of the mound and the game kind of dictates how you pitch and things end up having happen well for it yeah you think oh man my fastball is not real good so all of a sudden let me try to spot it or try to get a hitter to chase something about a baseball off the corner and before long that's what you're going to use the whole game best story I've heard about that is that Mark Burley in the perfect game that he threw in Chicago. I and mean, he said, uh, talking about his bullpen session, he said it got so bad he just stopped. He said, what's the point? I've, I've got nothing. I'm just going to go out there and see what I can do. He ends up throwing the perfect game. Well, he certainly didn't waste any no, down there's the There's no doubt. <laughs> he just flipped the ball. He said, I'm done. I'm ready. You know what's so smart about Burley, too? Besides the fact we love his pace he has it now, he throws strikes, and his defense made some unbelievable plays. For McClooney, wise to be able to keep that perfect game going over the wall, hitting the wall, and then fall down and still holding on to that baseball. Dwayne Wise out in left center field at U.S. Cellular Field. Raul battling Bartolo here. Still the two balls and two strikes. One out. Full count. See that too often with Colonia. Has no walks so far this season. This being his third start. Cole on deck. If they want to come back in shot. Here's a 3 2. And he walked him. There it is. First one. Hey, folks, on Tuesday, the Halos will be taking on the Athletics at 705, and fans in attendance will receive an Albert Pujols fleece blanket courtesy of St. Joseph Health. While supplies last, purchase tickets at the Angels State Ticket Office or by logging on at angels.com. Well, as impressive as the first inning was as far as the power swings, Calhoun's at bat, which he had a double, was so important. That was a swing where he got his bat level and drove the ball out the right field. We've seen him getting underneath some of his swings. Good to see Calhoun get it working now. One for one with that double, his second double of the year. Took a strike. Bartolo throwing the off-speed pitch, first pitch. David Wright playing it over at third, just about the cut of the grass. This was pulled back to Cologne. Tries to throw off balance. It's a low throw, and Tejada digs it out. Bartolo just couldn't get a handle on the baseball. He was going to try to throw it initially off balance. That would have been a very difficult throw. But still able to gather himself. And Tejada picked him up on the low throw to get the force out. A second. Well, it's certainly a play where you think he might have a chance if he was able to get his footing together to be able to turn a double play. See if that comes back to haunt him. 
He'll face Howie Kendrick here with two outs. Howie struck out looking in the first inning. Might be a time where you see Calhoun try to run. He's got two stolen bases this season. And the Angels, for whatever reason, have not been running a whole lot as aggressive they were in spring training. Another quick throw to first. Mentioned Cole's got two bags. Kendrick has two. Cologne's not easy to steal against. Either he uses a slide step. His times at the plate are extremely fast. That 1-1-1-2 one, 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 to the plate. Pretty good lead for Calhoun at first. Now with the changeup. Now he's a pretty good fastball hitter. It's amazing to see the numbers that, or lack thereof, he's put up against Bartolo Colon. Yeah, you, you, you think percentage-wise, Colon throws a little over 90% of his pitches are fastball, and how he doesn't miss many fastballs, yet he has against Colon. This was lined to short. That'll end the inning. Three complete here at the Big A. Angels maintain a 4-1 lead. Three third, two strikeouts, two walks, three hits allowed. They'll be facing four, five, and six. Sat Granderson and Brown here in the fourth inning for the Mets. Forty-nine pitches for the lefty. Through just twelve in that third. Josh Sat in the first baseman struck out in the first inning oh, for one. Sat in the sixth round pick in 2006 out of Cal. After going to Harvard Westlake. 279 last year for the Mets as he looks at a strike. One run, three hits, two left on for New York. Four runs, five hits, and two left on for the Angels. Fastball away, fastball in from CJ against Satin. Good two seam fastball there. That's a pitch where CJ, if he wants to throw that more often, he's going to be a lot more successful as far as getting more and more ground ball outs and be able to be able to pitch late in the games 
because they'll get some quick outs with it. Tough to double up, isn't it, on that pitch? I mean, if you do it, it's got to be, it's got to start at the corner of the plate. Yeah, tail it didn't off. tail off because then you're going to get a, a weak ground ball a lot of times when you're able to do that. That last one didn't appear to even come close to the zone, and now a 3 2 count. Four of them in the game for CJ. Especially the way Cologne is starting to settle down now. Important for CJ to have some quick innings himself. Chopper toward third. Ian Stewart has it. One out. Well, we saw that, and we mentioned a little bit about the Mets and their offense here in this series. 21 hits combined through the first two games. They have three today. And a lot of that, really, credit to the Mets because they've, they've gotten themselves in good hitters' counts. They really have. And the Angel hit, or Angels pitchers are unable to put guys away. As a matter of fact, what did we talk about last night? The 1-0 counts and the... Uh, the plethora of those 1-0 counts, and it just it, it leads it can lead to bad things, and it certainly has for the Angels. I just think it's a product of trying to be too fine when you're on the mound against them, and especially for CJ. He's been ahead a number of these full counts. He's been ahead of the count, trying to make the perfect pitch instead of using what you did to get ahead of the count. Is just go that same approach and finish him off. Now once again ahead 0-2. Mindset is throw that good hard break a ball, start it middle, middle away, and break it down and away. 4 0 2 counts for CJ. And Granderson goes down swinging. I mean, I, I agree with you. I think it's great. Hey, you got all these pitches. That's fantastic. But you know what? Who cares? Get, it, get the job done. And, I, and you go back to the other side is Bartolo Colon. He's got the other pitches, too, but he says, you know what? Until you beat me, until you make the adjustments on this particular pitch, why am I going to go away from it? Yeah, he's throwing a lot of fastballs. The Angels hitters made some adjustments. Then he threw a couple sliders and change-ups. Now he's back to his fastball. Finish off hitters as quick as possible. That's the best way to be in there at the end of the game. That's when you get the Ws, and that's when you become a leader of a staff, when you finish off games. That's the important thing. Brown rolled into a 6-4-3 double play in the second. A couple of painted fastballs on the outside corner over two. Not a bad idea. Good miss. Now you have him thinking, is he going to come back inside? Because I just missed the inside corner, or are you going back out away against him? That confusion that you create as a pitcher against a hitter is important for you. Two balls and two strikes. Four-run first inning for the Angels after New York took a 1-0 lead in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. That's seven in a row. Retired by Wilson as he picks up his fourth strikeout. The Angels have the bottom of the third. Bottom third of the order coming up.
enjoy better. Call 1-855-1-TWC. And by the Hyundai 100,000 Reasons event, now through April 30th. 4-1 Angels lead it here at the bottom of the fourth inning. Ian Stewart to lead things off, followed by Hank Conger, then Eric Ibar. Facing Bartolo Colon. Two strikeouts and a walk. And five hits allowed for Bartolo, and all five coming in the first inning. Stewart had one of them. RBI double for him. His first double, first RBI as an Angel. He takes downstairs. Second hit of the season for Stewart. Now two for 12. Third baseman this afternoon. Two balls and no strikes. Bartolo over the last couple of innings started to break out the change up a little bit more, so especially against lefties. Both of Stewart's hits have been extra base hits, double and a triple. Good rip. Fouls it back. So that's two a one. proper approach on a 2-0 pitch. You know you're getting a fastball. Good swing for Stewart. Fouled it straight back. SoCal kid himself, Laquita High School. From the first round pick of the Rockies. A lot of work with Ron Crew in the offseason. Missed hit. Three balls, one strike. Trying to get back on track. He's trying to get back that level swing. Hit the ball to left center field. His triple was left center field in Houston. And that is off the plate. So Bartolo came into today's action having not issued a walk. He's issued two so far today. Good take by Stewart. Man on. Tiger coming up. First time the Angels have had their leadoff man reach. Time is called as a, a beach ball. It's hit the warning track in right field. It's going to have to be a nice day. It's supposed to warm up this week with the A's coming in town. A's and the Mariners just underway up at Safeco. Oakland sitting atop the division by a half game over the Mariners. Oakland at 7 and 4, Ems at 6 and 4 as Hank takes outside. Houston and Texas just underway. Texas, Rangers with an early lead. One oh pitch. Off speed outside. Two balls and no strikes. Delayed in Chicago. White Sox hosting the Indians. 1-0. Toronto defeated Baltimore 11-3. Kansas City currently leading the Twins 3-2. That game's in the eighth. Yankees and the Red Sox later on tonight. Three and oh. All of a sudden, no command of his little two-seam fastball. Starting to aim it. When you do that, with his movement, it's very difficult for that to stay in the strike zone. It forces Bartolo Colon to throw that in the middle of the plate. And if it stays true, that's the one that gets hit. To an apartment three and one. Hank, a strikeout victim in the first, went down swinging. He's 0 for 1. 61 pitches thrown by Bartolo. 42 have been strikes. The sun playing peekaboo here. But mild temperatures here at the Big A. Slight little breeze. And hit and run is on. This one hooked down the right field line. Stewart on his way to third. Congers on his way to second. Stewart gets stopped at third base. Hank with a double. Second and third, and nobody out to strike the fourth. Well, that's what you like to see from the Halos. Aggressive going. 3-1 count. Hit and run. Saw that so often in spring, and it was so successful. He pitched the drive, too, for Hank Conger. Hits down the right field line. Gets his double. First double of the season. And gets Stewart all the way over to third as you try to add on here. Forcing the Mets to bring their infield in. Dan Wharton's going to go out, the pitching coach. Remember, both bullpens 
have uh, been exhausted in this series. 11 innings Friday night, 13 last night. The only guy that did not pitch last night that was available anyway uh, was Kyle Farnsworth. Familia had pitched, had thrown a lot of pitches Friday night, so he was in the bullpen, but really after two and a third Friday night, he was shut down. The Angels, of course, went through their bullpen. Everybody was used. Halo's making a move prior to the game, sending Dane De La Rosa and Matt Shoemaker to Triple-A Salt Lake. Jose Alvarez, the lefty, and Yoslan Herrera, the right-hander, selected from Salt Lake. Both are with the club. And you see that often, especially in an extra inning game, when your long guy is used as much as Shoemaker was used last night as far as pitches, that you feel the need to be able to bring up another fresh arm. Said bringing up two fresh arms. Here's Ibar. Nobody out. Second and third. One ball, no strikes. Nice, too, that uh, Salt Lake is an easy flight right into John Wayne Airport. Perfect. Plenty of nonstops. That's what a lot of clubs try to do at certain points to be able to have their double-A AA and triple-A teams close by their home ballpark. Eric drives one out toward left center field. Eric Young moving over, dives, he can't get it. It'll roll almost all the way to the wall. It'll clear the bases. 6-1 Angels, Ibar continuing on to third. Took a peek to see what was going on as far as getting that baseball in from left field. And Ibar goes to third. Wise decision. You're not gonna get that baseball in quickly. Not comfortable out there, unable to get a grip on the baseball. You got to go. Good swing by Ibar. Good effort by Young, un unable to pick it up. I think Eric Young thought he had a beat on it. The ball continuing to carry. A little bit of a bobble there. He does get credit for a triple. His second of the year picks up two runs batted in. He now has six. Infield still in, and JB Shuck at the plate. Chuck doesn't like that call, and it's a no-one count. JB over two. Ground ball to short and a fly ball to right. Some movement in the Mets pen as JB loops one into center. That'll bring in a run. Seven to one Halos. It's a product of the hustle by Eric Ibar, forcing the infield in. And as it a hitter in that time, you're just, your, your approach changer you're just trying to make contact, get it over the infielder's head, and that's what J.B. Shuck did. And Familia is up and loosening in the pen now for the Mets. He threw a lot of pitches in that uh, outing Friday night, second most pitches of his brief career. There's still nobody out, and Trout now up. This inning started with Ian Stewart working the walk. This was line to left of base hit. Trout with his second hit of the ball game. Oh, I like that. Jumping on a first pitch fastball for Trout. Oh, rockets that ball by. Short and third. Two for three in the game for Trout. Albert one for two. Looks at a strike. 495th career home run in the first inning. A solo shot into the bullpen. Left field. First five have reached to start this fourth inning. Good speed on the bases too. Shuck at second, Trout at first. Ground ball to third. David Wright has it. Feeds Murphy for one. Double play. So two outs. Shuck ends up at third base. Third double play that Halbert has hit into this year.
up to Banyas to keep it going. Nine hits for the Halos so far. Banyas just got underneath that one. Granderson moving in. And that'll do it for the Halos here in the fourth, but they strike for three runs on four hits, four complete. The Angels lead it 7-1. to one. Now it's time for the tools of the trade presented by Ram Trucks. C.J. Wilson on the hill. Dossat takes a third strike. Perfect throw from Hank Conger. Gets David Wright at second base. The old strike him out, throw him out. Now that is a pitcher's best friend. C.J. Wilson back to work. He's retired seven consecutive batters since walking Travis Darno in the second. Lagaris, Darno, and Tejada here in the fifth. Lagaris with a base hit in the second. He's one for one. CJ kicks this one into right field. How he would have been there, it looked like. Again, as a pitcher, you look back where your infielders are situated behind you and know the pitcher throwing and allow that baseball to go through. I mean, what of what benefit is it to kick a baseball? You're hoping what to kick it to someone? Yeah, and, and Howie is definitely going to be in position. He might even have time to get in front of the baseball. You don't even have to backhand it. And there's, I mean, again, as a pitcher, sometimes you react whether the bare hand or foot, but. In those spots right there, knowing where your guys are behind. That's why you look around. That's what Weaver does such a good job with. He'll look to first to talk to Pools. He'll look behind him to see where the infield, infielders are situated. Well, you know that, that baseballs go by you. Oh, one count. Yeah, CJ, obviously, no fool. He, he has some input. He has shared that input with his fielders as far as positioning-wise, so he knows where the guys are at. And he just looked back at Howie to determine if it's a ground ball hit to him now. That's who he's throwing to at the base for a potential 1-4-3 double play. Base hit to right. Lagares will round second and head to third. So the Mets first and third with nobody out here. Ruben Tejada coming up. First time in a game in which the Mets have and the first two men reach a start at inning. Eric Young led off the game with a walk and eventually scored on the David Wright single. And CJ talking with Howie, and Howie's pointing over to Eric Ibar. That who is going to be 
at second base if there's a ground ball back at you. That's a good communication. Tejada to hit that slow roller up the first base line that Wilson picked up and tagged him on. You can always believe that as a pitcher, that mound is your home. So that's the way you protect it. You always look behind you to know who's playing where. If they're both playing in the hole, then you have that whole mound to be able to cover yourself on a ground ball. Otherwise, when they're playing up the middle, bunched up the middle, you have to let them go. It's an easier play for them than for you. Two balls and one strike. 70th pitch of the game for CJ. 42 have been strikes. Four punch outs and two walks. That's a collected five hits now against him. Another nice catch by a fan down the first base line. Tejada, 24 years of age, native of Panama. Full count. Three two to Hada. Loops one down the line, and that is just foul. And all of a sudden, just when you think the Angels were in position to the knockout blow against Cologne, he gets a ground ball double play with pull holes to play. Now all of a sudden, offensively, two guys on and a three two count. A big batter for CJ Wilson in the Angels right here. You're going around to the top of the order with Eric Young coming up with good speed and Murphy with good power behind him. Another three, two. Called strike three, got him, one down. Tejada knew it. He's going to make sure he has a true fastball. He'll cut it around the back part of the plate and finish him off. A little cutter grip. Eric Young Jr., the batter, he was walked in. He's grounded out. 0 for 1. Lagar standing at third. Darno over at first base. 7 1 Angels here in the fifth inning. CJ's done a nice job as far as throwing first pitch strike, though. He's faced 19 batters, 14 first pitch strikes. Nice job by Hank at blocking that baseball. Just using that whole body to keep it in front of him. Pitching in the dirt. Gives you that comfort zone as a pitcher when you see your catcher block it in front of you. Got 
Two balls and a strike. Two one on the way. Oh, good pitch. That's Tied a tough pitch. Yeah. If you make any contact, that's going to be pulled foul. Or potentially hit a ground ball at Stewart for a 5-4-3 double play. Daniel Murphy on deck. Now the 2-2. Ground ball slowly hit. It'll bring in a run. And now they have uh, Darno in a rundown. Thank you very much. That'll end the inning. How about that? The run will count, though. But good job. You'll take that for a double play. Well done by the middle infielders there to finish off the inning. You'll, you'll give up that run if you're going to get two outs out of it and get you back into the uh, the dugout. And well done by Howie, Ibanez, and Eric Ibar. And Howie right there was going to potentially tag Darno, but he got in a rundown and a quick throw by Ibanez. Well done by him and then Eric Ibar running him straight back. But the reason why Darno stops is because Howie might have been able to tag him through the first and no run scores. Lagar is in and over on the Cole Calhoun swing. One out. And you might think at home a double play. Why does that run score? Well, they cross the plate in a rundown scenario, and he still even gets an RBI. Yeah, not a force out situation. It was a tag play. So the run counts. And uh, you're right, Eric Young gets credit for an RBI since he hit into a fielder's choice. Or I should say uh, into a ground out. It turned into a double play. And again, if you're CJ and the Angels, you'll take that double play ball. Oh, heck yeah. First and third, nobody out. They had some stress, too, going. But CJ has that ability to get out of those big inning scenarios. Also has the ability to pitch on the days that the Angels score some runs. Some run support again today. In the last season, what about 5.7 runs per nine innings pitch for CJ Wilson when he on the hill? Lined right back up the box. A little chuck and duck by Bartolo. The second hit of Howie's career against Bartola Colon, and Bart will almost had to remember that one quite a bit. He gets out of the way. Here's my glove. Please go in. You're not kick saving and beauty on that one, are you? <laughs> oh. Is he in Stewart? Stewart started the rally off of the Halos in the fourth with a walk. 
scored one of the three runs. It's one for one as he doubled home a run in the first. Well, when you're on the mound, especially when some of these baseballs have hit so hard and so far against you, you're just hoping that somebody doesn't hit a ball up the middle like that against you. When I was with the Angels, my last start of my career, Terry Collins was the manager for the Angels, and I gave up a couple of just absolute rockets. And he came out and asked, how you feel? And I said, well, so far, so good. Nobody hit me to the line drive back up the middle so far. He says, oh, good go. Go get him. Did you say forget about how I feel? <laughs> what were you saying about me in the dugout? Should have been your question back to him. <laughs> exactly. I looked down to the, I'm looking down at the bullpen. Uh, is there anybody up there yet? <laughs> you look good. <laughs> One one, Stewart, little dribbler foul, and that is picked up by uh, Satin. But uh... yeah, that was one of those games too. I, I'll never forget this. It, it, a lot of times, the conversations with a pitching coach or a manager when he comes out to the mound, and you know, you're always in, you know you're competitive in a heated moment. Yeah. And Terry says, "Oh, how you feeling?" I said, "Wow, oh, I feel pretty good. I haven't been hit with any of his line drives." yet he goes all right go get them just keep going out there and competing i said all right and i'm looking down at the bullpen uh maybe those guys can compete a little bit better than me right now hey tc what are you mumbling <laughs> as you're walking away from the mound he's saying wow he's got nothing, nothing. <laughs> hey but he's competing though he was always one of those guys that uh, unfortunately for him spoke his mind uh in the open areas and uh I think that's why guys I, I got a he, little tired of it. The reason why is Terry was so competitive. He was so prepared for games that he felt that he had the team in position to win every night. And that's what you're trying to do as a manager. But sometimes, as human beings, you fail. Stewart, foul tip the off-speed pitch. Two outs. And that's what he learned over the years to realize that you can't be perfect every day. You, as a manager, you as a player can't be perfect every day so you want to put yourself in a position where at least that very next time you're at the plate or on the mound or the next game that you could be successful and then the best way to do that is being positive two outs kendrick still at first base here's hank conger doubled and scored in the fourth inning 10 hits so far for the angels today That is hit out toward right field. Hit pretty well. Granderson drifting back. He pulls up. Gone. Big fly for Hank Tiger. Makes it 9-2 Angels. Now these are the RBIs Hank likes to get. Where he can jog around the bases instead of getting hit. Walking down to first and then trying to run away from his teammates as they tried to mob him after that walk off hit by a pitch in the first game of the series. First home run of the season. Now, two extra base hits in the game, a double, and jumps on this breaking ball from Bartola Colon, who's now given up nine runs on 11 hits. There's Ibar, who tripled home two runs last time up. He skies this one into shallow left. Young coming in. Going out as a shortstop, Tejada, and they collide, but they make the catch. And I think, was it Tejada made the catch? I yes, it was. And he will uh, walk off the field with the halo strike for two more on the Conger home run. They lead it 9-2. to two.
Beautiful afternoon for baseball here at the Big A. The Halos up by the score of 9-2. to two. Bartolo may not be enjoying the day as much. 11 hits, 9 runs, 4 home runs allowed by Bartolo. The Angels had 3 home runs yesterday. The Halos now with 19 home runs through the first 12 games. Large percentage of the runs scored for the Halos so far this year would be the home run. Earl Weaver would be thrilled. Yes. Daniel Murphy, David Wright, Josh Satin. Three batters for the Mets here in the sixth inning. That's two, three, and four. Popped up. Shallow left field. J.B. Shuck is in. What away. Murphy 0 for 3. And this copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. This could get interesting if CJ throws a borderline strike to David Wright. Last at bat, he wasn't real happy with some of the strikes called against him. Especially in a 9-2 game. He's one for two. RBI single on the first, a fly to left last time up. 0-1 count. Eighty-third pitch of the afternoon for CJ. Gets five strikeouts and two walks, five hits allowed. Worked around back-to-back -back singles in the fifth inning to uh, limit the damage to a run. As right hooks this one foul. John Barber, the third base umpire, with the call. So Wright makes a slow walk back. What well, a great position to be able to see that ball just went foul. Just about five, six inches foul. Evens up the count. Right goes down looking. Paints that out inside fastball. And the Junior Angels Kids Club presented by Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor Restaurants is now accepting members for the 2014 season. This year members will receive a Mike Trout shirt, Angels and sunglasses, ticket vouchers and more. To register visit at angels.com slash junior angels. Lots of kids at the game today. Yeah. A lot of ice cream being eaten, you think? Oh, yeah. That's that great giveaway last season. Trout hat. I think uh, you and I may differ in the definition of great, but <laughs> a giveaway nonetheless. <laughs> if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> and I'll take three. <laughs> Looked like he went around. Fielding Colbert brings it up. It's very important in sunny days to keep it. Your face shaded, There's no doubt. Oh, sure, the sun bakes the fish on the top yes. of your head, but you're fine. You're exactly. nice and cool. Yes. No melanoma for you, but forget Dude. the fish. Yeah. Hang with him. He's a trooper. Go pick me up. One ball, two strikes. Josh Satin 0 for 2. A strikeout and a ground down. CJ's shaking off a number of pitches. You wonder if he's going to mix in his knuckleball. <laughs> Threw one the other day against the Astros. And why wouldn't you? I think that was his knuckleball. At one time in Texas, he, uh, he tried to throw the gyro ball, the uh, mysterious pitch that Daisuke Matsuzaka brought with him. That certainly had some late movement on it.
sharply hit, and that's a base hit, if not more. Calhoun plays the carom cleanly. Sad. Got out of the batter's box very quickly. He's able to leg out a two-out double. Well, Calhoun does a great job of fielding the ball down that right field line off the wall with the caroms. Always puts himself in position to have a good throw at second base. Got to the wall. And a firm throw right at the bag. Just missed getting sat in. Most right fielders wouldn't even have a chance, but the way he fields up off the caron, very good. Very good comfortable and confident going after the baseball a lot of guys are go around there slow just to make sure if it gets by them it's an inside the park home run so a two out double puts a man in scoring position for Granderson Curtis one for two single back in the second struck out in the fourth double by Satin the sixth hit for the Mets no one count Scott Rice, the lefty, is getting ready to pen for the Mets. So Bartolo's afternoon is uh, perhaps over. Top of the order coming up. Rice pitched two-thirds of an inning last night. Oh, and two. A lot of first pitch strikes for CJ in this game. Seven times he's been ahead of the count. 0 oh, 2. See if he goes back to that drop down pitch. He got a swing and miss from Granderson last time. This one, Conger can't get to. Two balls, two strikes. Second wild pitch of the season for C.J. Wilson. 14 wild pitches last year. And that hard breaking ball. Trying to get the body over. Got part of the body on the baseball, but still gets away in a wild pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Andrew Brown on deck. Called strike three. Granderson doesn't like that call. But it'll do it for the Mets here in the sixth inning. Top of the order. Shuck Trout and Pools coming up. The Angels up 9-2. Glorious day for baseball. Little League Day here. A lot of kids in attendance. They did the parade before the game, and we asked some of them uh, what makes 
Mike Trout so great? Because he hits a lot of home runs. He grew up in nowhere, uh, Millville, and I think that's pretty cool. Because his favorite player is Jared Jeter. Because he makes good catches. Because he's good. <laughs> he's the only one that could steal home runs and do everything, and he's one of the best. Because he makes home runs. Because he's awesome. <laughs> I think yeah. that's what it says on your Twitter profile. I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> thing is, Mike Trout's not that much older than all the uh, kids here at the game. That's the thing that's incredible about him. Chuck Trout and Pujols here in the sixth inning facing new Mets pitcher, Scott Rice, who takes over on the mound. JB, one for three this afternoon. RBI single was last time up. Rice, the uh, Simi Valley product. Pitching now in his sixth game this year. No record at 1080 ERA. Hitting it in two thirds. Three hits. One strikeout. One walk. Fastball 88 92 with sink action. Slur. And split finger fastball he uses as a changeup. Count even up on it. One and one. And uh, you would figure you know, with uh, all the arms are being used, now a 9 2 game. Even the sixth inning that Rice you know, is not a, he is a situational guy. Won't be a situational guy. In this inning, maybe even try to squeeze two out of them. Who knows? RBI for Shuck in the fourth inning, his third of the season. Ground ball back up the middle, lead off single. He just puts the ball in play, Shuck. A flare single RBI, last at bat, that ground ball up the middle. Here's Trout, two for three, homer to the first inning. The bouncer back to the mound of the second, single in the fourth. Bartolo, by the way, five innings, 11 hits, four of which were home runs, three strikeouts, two walks, nine runs all earned. This one down the right field line, slicing out of play. This one off the wall. Let's go back to that first inning. It's Bartola Colon, the first of three in the first. Like the little leaguer said, he hits home runs, yep. especially in the first inning, fourth time this year. Angels going back to back to back in the first inning. Trout pulls it at Baez against Bartolo. Scoring four times. They scored three in the fourth, two in the fifth. Three and one now with Pujols on deck. Rice, 32 years of age. Long time minor leaguer. He even pitched an independent ball. He got to the big leagues for the first time last year. 73 games for the Mets, four and five record. This one shot back up the middle. Lagar is to his right, cuts it off. Stopping at second is J.B. Shuck, so a three-hit game for Trout. Two on, nobody out for Pujols. Well, he's, hit, he's hit the ball well three times today. Well, he's had great balance. Boy, he uses the lower part of his body so well with his stride. Through the baseball once again for Trout. Albert one for three. In a similar situation in the fourth inning. Runners at first and second. Nobody out after the Angels had scored three times. And Albert uh, rolled into a double play. 
First three hit game of the season for Trout. And his batting average well over 300 now, 320. Thirteen hits for the Angels today. Off speed, down low. And doing it against a guy that's pitched so well against the Angels and Bartola Colon. We talked about the keys, just being aggressive on his fastball, and they have been so far. And now, same thing here with Rice on the mound. That gets away. Shock will go to third. Trout to second. Oh, since the Angels have picked up in a game, 15. That was in game one of that series against the Astros at Minute Maid. Overthrown slur, that slider curveball combination. Squid and Darno allow both runners to move up, and Albert Paul is a great opportunity to drive in some runs. A 3 0 count, Abanya's on deck. Now they're pointed over to Darno. They're trying to talk to him, and they're going to intentionally walk him. They'll take their chances with Abanya's in a lefty lefty matchup. Base is loaded now, and nobody out. Oh, well, the whole broad of the first inning. That was when a couple of 40 year olds were facing each other. Oh, getting the better of the two. Great Dan Snyder getting him some great stats down in the truck. Last time, a 40 year old hitter hit a home run off a 40 year old pitcher. was. September 25th, 2011. Jorge Posada taking Tim Wakefield deep. The knuckleballer. What a career Wakefield had when you think about it. He was with the Pirates. Yeah. Let go and pretty much thought his career was over. And they're putting up some big numbers as far as W's in his career with the Red Sox. No balls and two strikes. And if I just get a piece of it, he did. Roll in his career, a 324 batting average with the bases loaded. Back in the first inning after Trout and Pujols went yard. Abanez, same thing. Two home runs, back to back days. Home run in the ninth last night to tie it up. Home run in the first inning here tonight or today. Earl did hit a grand slam last year, one of his 29 home runs as a member of the Mariners. The one, two. Oh, pulls a foul. J.B. Sheck leading off the inning with a base hit. Trout followed with a single. Then after Rice fell behind 3-0. And, oh. and uh, putting Pujols on board. Intentional walk. Two two. 
The nine earned runs that uh, Cologne allowed in today's game, matching a career high for him. It's the fourth time that has occurred to him. The last time it happened was in 2003, August 16, 2003, when he gave up nine earned runs to the Texas Rangers. That was a game in Arlington. Especially early in the year, that's that's a tough one to take. You know how many innings pitch at that point. Full count. Rice wanted that pitch. Didn't get it. Well, then now you have a lot of pressure on yourself as a pitcher to throw a strike here now. Payoff pitch, and he walks it a run. 10-2 Angels at Banyas with the RBI. Kept trying to make the perfect pitch with the breaking ball well out of the strike zone against the showed some patience, and then ended up working a walk in an RBI. Second RBI of the game, 12th for Raul this year, team leader in that category. Here's Cole Calhoun, still nobody out. Cole one for three with a double and a run scored. Trout Pujol Sabanez from third to first. Darno is setting up outside. Now the 0-2. And a swing and a miss. One down. Came right after him. Up steps Howie Kendrick. A little more aggressive on that breaking ball than try to bounce that one. Howie, one for three. Singleton scored in the fifth inning. Thirteen hit attack for the Angels so far. Looking for more. Up ten to two here in the sixth inning. And that gets away from Darno. Trout will score eleven to two Angels. Second wild pitch of the inning. Talked about Rice can be erratic. A couple wild pitches. Well, that's a pitch where, though, a lot of times you'll see the catcher be able to get himself in position to block this one. Darno was slow to react. Infield playing in now. One ball, one strike. Every angel so far this afternoon with at least one hit and with at least one run scored. Pulls third roll at Banyas at second base. One one. With lots of crooked numbers up there today for the Halos offense. Four in the first, you mentioned that, Victor. Three in the fourth, two in the fifth, two in the sixth. As you pointed out earlier, doing it against a guy that has had tremendous success against the Angels. Three straight home runs for the first time since 09. Five extra base hits in the first inning, first time since 94. I just mentioned the uh, one run, one hit for all nine starters. He's not going to give in to Kendrick. Got another left-handed batter, Ian Stewart on deck. That's going to force some action down in the bullpen. A lot of pitches thrown here. 
for a situational guy. Yeah, and there's still only one out here in the inning at 27 pitches. Looks like John Lannon getting ready. Lannon pitched last night. He picked up the win in relief. Working two innings. Looks like how he trying to pull that outside pitch. And you're right, Vicker. Rice is not going to give in. He's going to force Howie to swing one of his pitches. If he walks him, he still has the double play set up in order, plus facing a lefty, which he's accustomed to doing so. Full count now. Outfield very shallow with Howie at the plate. Ground ball towards second base. And that's the second out. And again, it looked like Howie chasing a little bit, expanding his strike zone. So two outs, second and third, and that'll bring up Stewart. One for two today with a double, a walk, and a strikeout. And a lot of times the Angels put a contact play on with one out, but with the score 11 to 2, that's one of those times you don't put the contact play on. 11 to 2 and Albert over at third yeah, base. Yeah, you don't want to take that chance. Uris Familia, the right-hander, has joined John Lannon in the bullpen. Familia was up earlier in this game. Stewart with the RBI double back in the first inning. Walked and scored in the fourth. Rolling it down tomorrow for the first of three. Hector Santiago will be on the hill for the Angels. Jesse Chavez was off to a nice start. Put into the rotation with all the injuries that the uh, Oakland A's were dealing with. You know, Jared Parker or A.J. Griffin. At least for most of the season. Dan Straley and Garrett Richards. Tuesday night, Tommy Malone and Tyler Skaggs on Wednesday. Toad one. All three five, or pardon me, uh, all three games, 7.05 starts. Two and two now. Toby Bazer behind the plate has been a strike caller today. Now the 2 2. And Stewart strikes out swinging. That will end the Angels' sixth inning, but they scored twice and they lead it 11 to 2.
And the Halos up here 11 to 2. Top of the seventh coming up. CJ Wilson still on the mound for the Halos. Let's take a look at our Libero vision to be able to have an idea of how successful that running game could be, the pressure put on. Stewart going on a 3 1 pitch to Hank Conger. Hank Conger picks up Alfredo Griffin at first, pointing towards second. Granderson getting the baseball. Stewart aggressively going into third, thinking about the extra base. Gary D. Sarcina right there to be able to hold him and keep him there. Two runners in scoring position at that point with no outs. Well done by the runners, Hank Conger, and the coaching staff to be able to make sure that works effectively as far as hit and run and being aggressive running. Colin Calgill takes over at center field for Mike Trout. Trout finishing the game going two for four. Pardon me, three for four. First three-hit game of the year. T.J. Wilson back to work. Brown, Lagaris, and Darno for the New York Metropolitans. First one is off the plate. One ball, no strikes. Andrew Brown, the DH, 0 for 2. Double play ball in the second. The strikeout in the fourth. Fouled off the body. One hundredth pitch of the afternoon for CJ. Sixty-one strikes. Six punch outs and two walks. Six hits allowed. Full count. We try to go back door cut fastball. And in this spot, just trust that two seam fastball away. Probably getting close to that limit as far as pitches thrown. My social would love to have a quick, clean inning here for CJ. Otherwise, he's going to have to call down the bullpen. And he walked it. 11 2 game. Last thing you want to do is start gifting base runners. AMLB.TV Premium, the number one live streaming sports service, is celebrating 12 years. Join the millions of subscribers. You can watch every out of market game live at True HD on over 400 devices. Visit angels.com for details. Angels bullpen now moving around. No real urgency out there, but someone's going to start to uh, get ready. Want to know? Juan Lagares twice has been on board for the base hit, scored in the fifth. First start for CJ of the season, 114 pitches. Last game out, 120 pitches. This one line to right, Cole breaking back on it, puts it away for the first down. Catcher number 15, Travis Darno. So one out and a one on. Travis Darno, Kevin Jepson getting ready. Darno, the catcher, looks at his strike. He walked in the second, singled in the fifth. That's a wild pitch. Second of the game for C.J. Third this season for C.J. Wilson. This is the point of the season, still early in the season, where 
you try to keep it an eye on as far as pitch counts go for C.J. Wilson, especially with a 11-2 lead. Well, you see the bullpen up right now. That must be a spot you could get Darno with anyhow. Go right back to the same spot. Boy, he tried it real close. And a full count. Number nine hitter Ruben Tejada on deck. Hundred nine pitches thrown for CJ. Called strike three. Darno doesn't like the call. Two outs. Well, that was right at the knees. Going with a four seam fastball. Paints the inside corner. Some late movement on it. Looked like a strike to me at the knees. And someone's been ejected. Toby Basner. Maybe it's uh, David Wright. Yep. Somebody. Now someone else has been ejected. Well, two guys have been tossed now. And the Mets have been jawing at Basner, especially if you go back to the third inning when Murphy struck out looking. He wasn't happy. David Wright wasn't happy either. And a couple of strike calls back in the third. It's been five called third strikes against Mets hitters today. It's been a rough afternoon for the Mets. Just from uh, the start that Bartolo Colon had. And the Angels is scoring early and often. David Wright last at bat got called out on a strike inside to begin with. Wasn't happy to hit bat before. We thought that might be an issue if he got rung up on a call third strike. So Terry Collins has been ejected. It looks like Murphy's been ejected, not David Wright. Just by looking at Murphy's uh, reaction there, having to take off the helmet. David Wright's bringing all his gear in to the locker room. So maybe TC didn't get ejected, and it's the two players. Yeah, got Murphy and Wright. Both of them. They're second we're, and third. We're called out. Yeah. And those were the two that were jawing with uh, with Toby back in the third inning. There hasn't been many ejections in baseball this entire season yet. But as Ernie Harwell would say, the late great one, two for the price of one. <laughs> Tana takes down low. Met shortstop 0 for 2. Bouncer back to the mound of the strikeout in the fifth. Six called looking today by Toby Bastard. Five for the Mets and one for the Angels. Oh. 
Looking like it could be CJ's last batter. See if he can finish on a strong note here. Seven potential quality innings for CJ Wilson. Eight punch outs already. Looking for maybe number nine. Now the one two. Missed it. Two balls, two strikes. That might have been interesting if you was called out on strikes there. Team ejection. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there might have been a few more. Six hits for the Mets. CJ trying to finish up and get through the seventh with an 11 2 lead. That was pretty close pitch. It was just off the inside corner. 114 pitches in six and two thirds. A lot of deep counts today. Especially how many times he got ahead in the count 0 2 for CJ. Handles with four in the first, three in the fourth, two in the fifth, two in the sixth. Four home runs. Trout, Pujols, Banyas, and Conger. Breaking ball got him looking. Seventh inning stretch time here at the Big A. The Angels in control. Angels baseball is brought to you by the Dodge Challenger. Visit Dodge.com or your local dealer today. And by Jack in the Box. Try the new Bacon Insider. It's got bacon mixed right into the patty at participating restaurants.
Bottom of the seventh inning here at the Big A. The Halos with an 11-2 lead. 13 hits, and it all started back in the first inning. Three consecutive home runs. Mike Trout got it started. Boy, they were jumping all over. A fastball from Bartola Colon, dead center field. Albert Pujols, 495. That one to left field. And Raul Abanez getting hot. It's a home run. Back to back to back home runs in the first inning. Two doubles. Five extra base hits for the Angels in the first. Couple of defensive changes for the Mets with the uh, two ejections of Wright and Murphy. Lucas Duda takes over at first base. Omar Quintanilla is now the new second baseman. And uh, Satin, who was at first base, moves across the diamond over to third. And Andrew Brown, who is the DH, is now in right field. Uris Familia is on the mound. He takes over for Scott Rice. Mentioned he pitched Friday night, two and a third, one earned run. Facing Hank Conger, the guy he drilled. To take that loss. The first one's just a bit outside for ball one. Go back and revisit our Hyundai Key. Talked to bat jump. Oh, Van Halen. Well, they certainly jumped all over Bartola Colon and the Mets in the first inning, and continued on the rest of the game. Eleven runs scored, thirteen hits for the offense. Hank skies this one. Shallow center field. Lagar is coming in. He's the center fielder. One away. Bring up Eric Ibar. Ibar one for three, an RBI, pardon me, a two RBI triple, and a run scored in the fourth inning. A little bit upstairs. So a little promo to Ducks. Their last game of the regular season. Congratulations to the Ducks and the Kings. Yep. And the Clippers. Kings. All the postseason. Yeah, Kings will be taking on uh, San, San Jose. Jose. That's a tough matchup. And Ducks taking on Dallas. Yep. Stars. With an opportunity if both win their series, they would meet for the first time ever in the postseason. Bump up, bump. That pumps you up. Yes, it? no question. Three balls and one strike on Eric Ibar. Top of the order, JB Shuck on deck. That is ball four. Spins the lineup around. JB, two for four tonight. So this afternoon, I should say, a couple of singles and a run score. He's also picked up an RBI. John McDonald taking over at first base as the pinch runner for Eric Ibar. Saw that a lot of Eric Ibar in spring training work in the walk. Something he didn't do a whole lot. Early parts of his career. More patience. And that is ripped into right field. JB picks up his third hit. Well, it's a small sample size, but Shuck and Calgill did a nice job. Picking up the slack, not having Josh Hamilton out in that left field position. You'd love to have Josh. Hope he'll be back soon. Surgery went well on his thumb. Cal Gillen Shuck picking up the pace. 
Speaking of Cal Gill, what a nice game yesterday. Defensive replacement at the top of the inning for Mike Trout. His first plate appearance. Collins so far, four for 11. Double a home run, one RBI. Homered off Nice last night. Fouls this one off to the right. Also had that real nice throw. The top of the first throw at Young at the plate. In last night's game. Foul back. 0 2 count. Fourteen hits today for the Angels. One shot of the season high last Friday. A week ago, Friday. Called strike three. Got him looking. Two down. And now it's time for our Carl's Jr. Sports Update. Casimir and the A's take on Seattle. The A's coming into town tomorrow night as part of the three-game series. Casimir on the hill today throwing very well. 0-0 in the seventh inning up in Seattle and 5X. Angel pitchers making starts today. Mentioned Casimir. Bartolo Colon didn't work out too well. Dan Heron. That's a good run support against Arizona up 7-3. to Tyler Chatwood looks like he's making a no decision. 4-4 four to four against San Francisco. So a lot of former Angel, Angel hurlers on the hill today. Here it's 11 to 2 in the bottom of the seventh. With two outs, two on for Pujols. Albert one for three. Tejada will go across. That'll end the Angels' threat. Seven complete, 11 two halos. and financial services for you and your business. Visit hefins.com. And by AT&T U-verse TV. Check availability at 1-800-PICK-ATT. Rethink possible. 11-2 as we begin the top of the eighth inning here at the Big A. Kevin Jepson has taken over on the mound. He'll be pitching to the top of the order here for the Mets. We'll have a new shortstop. It's John McDonald, new pitch ran for Eric Ibar. Stays in the game. To play the shortstop position. 
Big opportunity for Kevin Jepson just to start working, get better command of his fastball in the strike zone. Threw the ball well in spring training, making that adjustment, that three-quarter delivery. It's got to correlate into success at the major league level, though, for him. Young, Quintanilla, and Duda are the scheduled three batters. Mets no longer have a DH. It's Andrew Brown who started the game as a designated hitter in right field. So the pitcher spot is in the five hole. Where Curtis Granderson once was. Eric Young Jr. a walk and two ground outs. Originally credited with an RBI. He hit into that double play in the fifth. But that has since been uh, removed. No RBI. One ball, one strike. Jefferson pitched last night. Two thirds of an inning. A hit, a hit batter, a strikeout, and a walk. Command the biggest issue for Kevin, especially in uh, crunch time. Foul back, one and two. Stick around after the last down Angels Live post game presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers. Patrick O'Neill and Jose Moda will break it all down for you. A lot to break down, too. Lots of swings. On this Sunday Hard afternoon. hit baseballs. That's a swing and a miss. Conger will throw on the first, completes the strikeout. Now that was an excellent sequence from Jepson. The fastball on the pitch before, 95 inside. Then you throw the hard slider down and in. As a hitter, you have to protect at that part of the plate. That sharp break is a swing and miss for Jepson. It'll bring up Quintanilla batting in Murphy's spot. Both Murphy and Wright ejected in the uh, top of the seventh. Quintanilla was the shortstop last night. Ended up picking up three hits. He went three for six with two runs batted in. His first three hits of the season. Mets with six hits. They struck first with a run in the first inning. David Wright, an RBI single. And scored Eric Young. The Angels certainly came back with a vengeance in the first. It's Bartolo gave up nine earned runs today. Scott Rice charged with two runs in his one inning of relief. That was the sixth. Bart with two walks today, which is unusual for him, too. First two of the season for him. That's a swing and a miss, and Conger again will have to throw down to first. And, and now pick up his glove. Lost his glove on that one. That may have... Uh, yeah, he might have got his thumb. Yeah. Hard break of ball once again from Jepson. Two outs, nobody on. Lucas Duda at the plate. His first plate appearance. Big man served as the DH last night. Home run and a single. They're going two for five. Home run his third of the season. One ball, one strike. 
no action in the Mets pen. So unless uh, this inning all of a sudden continues on for the Mets, figure Familia will come back out for the eighth inning. Eleven pitches thrown by Kevin. Seven has been strikes. Eleven strikeouts combined between Wilson and Jepson today. CJ seven innings, six hits, nine Ks, three walks, two two. You can get all three batters to swing on a slider down and in. Slider low. Josh Satton on deck. 3 2, sky to center. Calgill moving over. That's a towering pop up. Man, oh man, the old rainmaker. A 1 2 3 inning for Kevin Jepson. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Angels in control. T fan photo of the game. Tweet your photo at the hashtag WestFanPhoto for a chance to have it shown in an upcoming game broadcast. And it's brought to you by AT&T. Alan uh, Orini? I'm going to go with Orini. Sounds good to me. All right. I like it. Cute pick, man. Pretty cool when they get those pictures here. Ballpark. I thought we were going to put the one I took at you while you were doing the <laughs> pregame hit <laughs> oh, earlier today. Yeah, that would have been good. You know, many, you know how many of those I've snapped while you were sleeping on the plane? <laughs> uh, huh? I never want any of those photos being out there. There's a library. It's relaxing, I'm thinking. There's a library of you on my phone, and this is kind of what it looks like. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm, or this I'm, way, I'm already okay. contemplating what is my key, what is my song for the upcoming game. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, for the Hyundai key to the game, huh? <laughs> yes, That's I have to do it. It's not been, easy. Yeah, I bet. It's yeah. been all angels uh, here today as John Lannan takes over on the uh, mound for Familia. Ibanez, Calhoun, and Kendrick. Raul, one for two. Home run in the first inning, his third of the year. 
A fly to right in the fourth. He's also mixed in a couple of walks, one of which was with the bases loaded. It's a two RBI game for Rowan. Angels have Yoslan Herrera getting ready, whom they called up today. Rebanias went around. Landon pitched last night, two innings, all zeros. Six up and six down as he picked up the win, his first of the year. As a matter of fact, Mets pitchers took care of the Angels from the uh, ninth inning with two outs on. Nobody got on base after the Bonders home run tied things up in the ninth as Raul goes down swinging for the first down. And, and get it adjusted really to coming out of the bullpen. He's been a starter for majority of his career, so it's a different feel as far as your routine. Being a starter as compared to a guy coming out of the bullpen had to get ready quickly. Calhoun with a double in the first, one for four game. Shoots this one to left field. Eric Young racing over, dives, he can't get it. That ball just kept slicing away from him. Cole keeps on chugging. It's a triple. First of the year. Two extra base hits today for Calhoun also. Eric Young will be aggressive going after baseball. It's the second ball he dove for, almost made a great play for. Once it gets by, it's extra bases. Can't fault his effort, though. A good swing from Calhoun. And he sees that ball get away from Young, and he's thinking triple. Slides in there with his first of the season. One ball, no strikes on Howie. So the Angels have matched their um, season high and hits with 15. Howie, one for four. Single with a run scored in the fifth. There's a wild pitch. Here comes Calhoun. And the throw gets away. The run scores, and it's 12 to 2. That's one of the most dangerous plays for a pitcher covering home plate because you're running trying to find a plate, and the runner's sliding in at home. Many pitchers get hurt on that slide. Gets away, not real far away from Darno, but to throw as he's trying to find the baseball and find home plate and to slide into the leg of Landon. Hopefully he's okay. Only contact at the plate. Three balls and no strikes. It's good to see that smile on uh, Cole's face once again. It's been a little bit of a struggle for him to start off the season. Yeah, a couple extra base hits will allow you to feel more comfortable. Full count. Howie, three for 13 in this series. Fouls this one off to the right. Thirty-eight thousand fifty-five. I'm sorry, thirty-eight thousand eight fifty-five. It's a great crowd so yeah. far. Great crowds in this entire series against the Mets. This little league Sunday. This one fell back into the seats.
Howie trying to provide some souvenirs here. And doing well. There's a walk, and that gets by Darno. Darno has been busy over the last few innings trying to block pitches in the dirt. One out, one on, and Ian Stewart at the plate. Third baseman today. One for three game, RBI double back in the first. Here you're mentioning Lana being the former starter. The conversion to the bullpen. Also the whole back-to-back uh, -back games thing as yeah, well. You're, you're certainly not used to that. You're just happy to be able to play catch today after you start a game. Now you're back out there on the hill trying to get hitters out. The double for Ian in the first, his first, picked up his first RBI as an angel. Two and one. Forward to seeing Herrera pitch the ninth inning. Got into a couple games in spring training. Three and one. Picked up a save in spring training also. Ian drives one out toward left center field. That ball's in well. Lagar's back. That is gone. Big fly for Ian Stewart. Makes it 14 to 2 Angels. Well, we talked about his opposite field, field power. We saw that on display in Houston. This one the other way and well out to left center field for Stewart. First career home run is a halo. Well, that work he had done all went along with Rod Crew paying off right now. Allowed that baseball to travel a little deeper in the strike zone. It had a good pass at it and hit the ball the other way. Yeah, good to see it against left-handed pitching. Five home runs for the Halos this afternoon. Conger has one of them. Let's go back to that swing. Well, how well he allowed that ball. You can even from that angle right there, you can see how deep that baseball was in the strike zone when he hit it out to left center field. He might have broke some rocks out there in the rock pile that was hit that hard and far. Hector Santiago sitting in that dugout saying, okay, that's good. Save some of them for tomorrow night against the A's. I think the fellows are in good position right now. First home run of the big leagues for Stewart since 2012 with the Cubs. Hank rolls this one foul. And that's extremely impressive when you hit a ball that far the other way against a left handed pitcher of the boot. John McDonald on deck. Hank pulls this one over to third. Sadden has it. Two outs. So Johnny Mack will come up for his first plate appearance. Took over as a pinch runner. First time the Angels have had five home runs in a game since last season, July 10th, 2013, against the Chicago Cubs at Wrigley. A little different ballpark than this ballpark, although in the day, 
Plays a little smaller than it does at night. Yeah, that was a 13 2 Angels victory. We tacked on the extra point here, though, to make it 14. <laughs> Pools, Hamilton hit two, Trumbo. Brendan Harris got into the action. Ball and a strike on uh, John McDonald. He's four for eight this year. Eric Guybar finishing up the afternoon, going one for three. Two RBI triple for him. And Johnny Mack pulls one into the left field corner. Make that five for nine. He picks up his first extra base hit. Always known for his glove, but he hit the ball extremely well in spring training. He's carried it into the season. Talk about simplifying the approach, getting your hands inside the baseball and driving it to left field. It's exactly what John McDonald did. Boy, a lot of extra base hits in this game. The 11 extra base hits of the 17 total. J.B. Shuck, is that a nice game? Three for five. And now uh, Landon and Darno are going to talk things over with two outs here in the eighth inning. Three runs in. Triple by Calhoun. A wild pitch brought him home. A walk to Kendrick and the home run by Stewart. Shot hits one out to left center. Lagares has a beat on it. And we'll head to the ninth. The Angels tacking on three more. Lead it 14 to 2. your world and by SoCal Toyota. Check out the new fun to drive 2014 Camry at your Toyota dealer today. We make it easy. Down to the ninth here at the Big A of the Halos with a 14 to 2 lead. They've turned the ball over here in the ninth inning to 32 year old veteran Yasta Herrera who was signed in the offseason. Minor league free agent. This will be the uh, first game in which he has pitched in the big leagues since August 4, 2008, as a member of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Last year, pitching in independent baseball and put up good numbers in the Atlantic League. The Angels taking a flyer on him, and here he is. Fastball is 87 to 91. He also has a good curveball changeup. Five big league games for him. Defected from Cuba in 2005. Signed with the Pirates. His last uh, Major League Baseball organization was the Minnesota Twins. He pitched at Rochester in 2010, then took 2011 and 2012 off before pitching independent ball last year. And this year at Salt Lake, five and a third innings, four hits, six strikeouts, and two walks.
They'll face Satin, the pitcher spot. It looks like Ike Davis has come out to the on deck circle. And then Brown. First one's in for a strike. Should be a fun series starting tomorrow night against Oakland in town. Winning up there in Seattle once again. The other pitcher failed to mention the former Angel pitcher, Jason Vargas, pitched well for the Royals, but they lost that game late. Minnesota playing well this year. Yeah. Kansas City off to a little bit of a slow start. A lot of expectations for them in the American League Central. So come back here, nice field. Nice job fielding that ball by Herrera. One out. Hey, America's new sports network is the place to turn before every slam, every goal, and every game with America's pregame only on Fox Sports 1 and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Tune into America's pregame weekdays at 3 p.m. only on Fox Sports 1 to define Fox Sports 1. Cable satellite provider, just go to foxsports1.com. Fun time of the year for sports fans. With the NBA playoffs, the NHL playoffs, baseball season rolling. Mike Davis went around on the breaking pitch. Davis pinch hitting here in the pitcher spot. Breaking ball in there, 0 and 2. Davis got the start at first base last night. They're going 0 for 4. Tell you what, Herrera, very quick with his pace, throwing a lot of strikes. So five pitches, all strikes so far. First Cuban pitcher for the Angels since Louis Tiant in 82. Fastball up and away, 95. Good action on there. He's got better velocity on his fastball since back when he came up with the Pirates. He was a starter. Now working out of the bullpen. Two balls and two strikes. Ground ball toward the middle. Howie to his right has it. High throw, but Al Raul gets that 41-year-old foot back down on the bag. Yeah, he was outs. working on that with Alfredo. Alfredo was throwing the short hop and the high throw so he can get his footwork back on the base if he has to jump high. It's that preparation before the game. Finally's out there early, and it paid off. High throw, got the foot down, gets the second out. So the halo is one out away from back to 500. Big swing there by uh, Andrew Brown, the right fielder. All three batters he's faced, he's got ahead of the count 1-0. Uh, 0-1, I should say. Six hits for the Mets. Their last coming back in the sixth inning to double by Satin. Angels a 17 hit attack. Last time the Angels had five home runs here at home on June 13, 2009 against the Padres. Strike. That was uh, Tory Hunter had three, Kendrys Morales and Jeff Mathis. Kendrys still without a job. I cannot believe that. Yep. Now the plate. Two balls and two strikes. Herrera trying to finish this one off. 2-2. Two -two. 
Did he go? No. Fielded Cobra says he did not. I thought that was a pretty good pitch. Must have been down a little bit. For a full count. Pretty close to going also. Good baseball now. That's what uh, Herrera wants. Herrera and Jose Alvarez added to the Angels' bullpen prior to the game. Dane De La Rosa, Matt Shoemaker being sent down to AAA Salt Lake. De La Rosa apparently will pitch at Salt Lake. He's not injured. He's got to pick up the velocity. The more throws he has, the better he'll be. There's the payoff. Swing! And a foul ball. Boy, he almost got him. Just barely got a piece of it. Boy, it's got to be a great, great feeling for Herrera to be on that big league mound again. An opportunity to be able to high-five the fellows coming off the field. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, been a long time coming for him. That's awesome. Get back to the big leagues. And to have a clean inning if he could do it. One, two, three, ninth. Three, two. And he walked him. <laughs> That's a pretty good pitch. Of all the pitches <laughs> to not be called a strike today, that would be one that uh, you and might want to bring up. That 95 mile an hour fastball had some movement in the middle of the plate. I mean, that's right down the middle. That's splitting the plate. <laughs> Maybe that was the problem. It just got too much of the plate. Yeah, way too much. So walk, puts a man on, and it'll bring up Lagar as the center fielder. Two for three today. A couple of singles and a run scored. Once again, ahead of the count. Breaking ball. Oh, a two. Looks like Herrera puts baseball in the split finger fastball grip. He uses that as his changeup. Well, if you get a good feel for that pitch, along with the movement he's throwing at 95, much better velocity. Mentioned the fact that he used to be a starter. Now is coming out of the bullpen. You don't have to conserve that fastball. He's letting it go. Head of the count and a ball and two strikes. Foul back. Well, he's picked up some velo over the last couple of years. See that grip? Put it in the glove. Hey, what? He's got a good follow through, too. It's a good opportunity to throw a breaking ball and see if he can finish off. Lagares right here and the Mets in this series. Little tapper back to the mound. This should do it. Light that baby up as the Angels take the rubber game of the series. 14 to 2 to the final. Boy, what a job by the offense. 14 runs, 17 hits, 11 extra base hits. Home run power, five of them. And what a job by C.J. Wilson. What a story Herrera would be able to finish off that game. Hasn't pitched at the Major League level since 2008. Finishes it off in Grand Fashion Field in his position twice in that inning. No doubt about it. It was fun to watch. C.J. Wilson picks up his second win of the season. Going seven innings, allowing two runs. 13 and two-third innings. Or pardon me, uh, seven innings, six hits, nine strikeouts, and three walks. He'd come into the game having thrown 13 2 innings. And given up 12 hits. So he limited the hits today. A lot of deeper counts. You, this is one of those games at 14 to 2. Even at the time when he left, that uh, that's a that's a complete game. You're almost sniffing a complete game. Yeah, there. you were you thinking those turns, but I'll tell you what, there are a lot of good positive. Hank Conger had a great game, did a good job behind the plate, but what a job by the offense. Right away after the Mets score, one run in the top of the first respond, 
with grand fashion with five extra base hits in the bottom of the first. Yeah, the Angels' offense certainly came to life. A season high, 17 hits. Hank Conger had one of those home runs, as did Raul Abondis, who had the big home run last night. And Raul is uh, apparently down in the field. Let's go down to Alex Curry. Thank you, Victor. Raul, this was a fun game to watch, getting things started with back-to-back-to-back to back to back home runs. How important was it to get to their pitcher early? Um, well, you know, he's a great pitcher. Bartolo's a great pitcher, and he's, he comes right after you. Unfortunately, we're able to hit some balls in the air and, and uh, put some runs on the board, and CJ did a hell of a job, heck of a job, sorry. And, uh, and uh, he looked great. And you had very patient at bats this series, not just with clutch home runs, but drawing some key watch that led to runs. How are you starting to settle in here? Um, I think it's a great lineup, and, and I think that good at bats are contagious, and, and good hitting is contagious. We have a great lineup, and uh, you know, watching the other guys work the at bats and work the counts, it, it kind of uh, puts a pressure on you in a good way uh, to produce and do the same thing. And it was a, your first start at first base in a couple of years. How did it feel out there? It was more than a couple of years, but it felt good. It was all right. Uh, you know, CJ did a great job, like I said before, and uh, you know, the guys played good defense behind the bullpen. Came in, get, did a great job. It was a great team win. Congratulations on a great one. Thank you. Thanks. All right, the Angels take this series with a final score of 14 to do, but stick around because we have Angels Live next with Patrick O'Neill and Jose Moda right here on Fox Sports West. <laughs>